dear Eudoxia Maria, I'm afraid to say that I'm sending you not my eldest, but Laura, the second one. She'll help you greatly at the orphanage, cousin. I've no way to thank you for graciously welcoming her at your house while she attends to her education. You don't need to worry, she's a very obedient girl and will follow whatever rules you impose. You don't have to worry about the expenses either. Misael has pledged to send money to pay for her accommodations and her education. But knowing the nomad that he is, I send you the first part with Laura. May God bless you and grant you continued good health. Your cousin, Fabio. Welcome to your new home, child. Hand me your luggage, please. The regulations at this house are very clear. We all live as orphans, and no one is above anyone. No one can be richer than the other. So we wear uniforms. Hurry and follow me. The bed at the end is yours, and you make up your own bed, and no one will do it for you. You're allowed to keep some things at the side of your bed, but everyone wakes up at 4.30. Go to sleep now, because it's midnight already. I said shower should only take two minutes and no more. You've taken ten minutes and you should be getting dressed by now. What if you don't have time for breakfast? Get dressed now. Only two minutes. Two minutes. Hurry up. Dress up. Blessed be the Lord in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Lord in the most holy sacrament of the altar. As, as in heaven and as, as in earth. Blessed be the Lord in the most holy sacrament of the altar. As in heaven and as on earth. You may have your breakfast. Yes, Mother. Excuse me. You shouldn't raise your skirt like that. It's forbidden. What if she sees you? What can I do? It's itchy. Mother Eudoxia has a short temper. She'd let you sweep the yard all day without food. Is she that ill-tempered? Mother Eudoxia? We've been taught to hold her in high esteem. Although they say she has no soul. How could she not have a soul? What soul could she have if she lets us take cold showers? Don't you see how little the food is? Oh, the water wasn't that bad. And besides, I'm used to eating a little. So from what orphanage did you come from? Oh no. I had a home once. Really? Pleasure, Laura Montoya. I'm Ana Lucia Bernal. I've been an orphan since I was eight months old. I practically known Mother Eudoxia all my life. She's very stingy, but I owe her my life. Hmm. I had no idea my aunt was stingy. Did you say she's your aunt? I yes. apologize. Please don't tell her what I just told you. I meant no, no, no disrespect. No, no, no. It's I'm sorry. all right. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm just here because I'll be studying at the Trinity School. Did you just say the Trinity School? Yes. But you can't go dressed like that. Are you out of your mind? You will be studying at the best school in Medellin. Didn't you know that? No. Yes, you can't go dressed like that. Here you are. Now, don't forget to study hard. Stay away from frivolity because God doesn't like that at all. Always remember that. I understand. God bless you. Thank you so much, Aunt. Why are you all outside? Go in! The class is about to start. Hurry up, we don't have all day, ladies. Take a seat, all of you. Before we start a class, let's welcome a new student, Laura. Come on, come inside. Don't be shy. Is this true? Is she really going to study with us? Where did she come from? She'll introduce herself and tell you a bit about herself. 
Why don't you start talking? My the name? floor is Do yours. I say my name? Go on now. Good morning. My name is Laura Montoya. Go and on. I and I came from Where are you from? All oh, right. I came from Amalfi, but I was born in Jericho. Very good. Now, can you please write your name on the board so the girls can spell your name? What? Write your name. Is something wrong? I don't know how to write. You don't? <laughs> Quiet, please. There's nothing funny. Go on, take your seat. All right, class, remember your new classmate's name, Laura Montoya. Here? Yes, right there. Well, all right. We'll begin today's class with geography. I hope you brought your textbooks. Take them out. Did she say book? The one that says geography. What is it, Laura? Don't you have one? No, it's just... Here, it's right here. No, it's just... What, can't you read either? <laughs> That's enough, ladies. This is no laughing matter. It's this one. All right, let's proceed with the lesson. We'll talk about yesterday's topic. I don't know what's going on, but Madam Pilar, how could you accept this girl in school? She doesn't know anything. I've already told you, this girl has been highly recommended. Besides, she's the daughter of a distant cousin and her great uncle's paying. I know that, Madam, but she doesn't know how to read or write. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to treat her with the utmost care, Eugenia. Teach her how to read and write. Be patient with her. Treat her as if she was a little girl who was just beginning to learn her alphabet. It's that simple. You just have to be patient with her. Teach her the basics in order for her to move on. Help her. What am I going to do with you, Laura? I ask you to be patient with me. Even donkeys need to be taught how to bray sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll need to begin with the basics, all right? right? Teacher. And you'll need to put a lot of effort, of you understand? understand? Fine, I'll explain things to you as to all the other yes, girls. Yes, but be patient, okay? I'll be very patient with you, Laura. Don't worry. All right, we'll start with the vowels. Do you know what the vowels are? I'm afraid not. Fine, repeat after me. A. A. E. E. I. I. O. O. U. U. Very Those good. are the vowels? Those were the vowels. Now we'll write them. How do we do the first one? Just like a little ball. Like a little ball. Is this right? And it ends with a tail? Very good. Next is letter E. It's like... Like so. Okay. Laura, why did you come home so late? Don't forget the rules are respected in this house. What are you doing after class? Tell I me. I was trying to learn. But of course, I know girls your age very well. Don't lie to me. I'm sure the temptations of Medellin have been it's hard to resist. It's not that, Mother. I will not permit that in this house. You are a lost sheep and there is no need for you to explain. Now quickly, I have a task yes, for mother. you. Yes, Mother. It's late. That's why I've come to help you before Mother Eudoxia notices you no, haven't no, no, finished. No, no, no. I don't need your help. You should go back to bed. I it's can all right. You. This is something I do all the time, and I want to help. Now tell me, how did it go on your first day of school? It was a disaster. The girls were laughing at me the whole time. I could imagine. I figured they'd be laughing after seeing you come in wearing that nasty dress. I told you so. And it got worse when they knew I didn't know how to read or write. You don't know how to read or write? God gives bread to those who have no teeth. And here you are at the best school in Medellin, and you know nothing at all. Do you know how to read and write? I do know how to read and write. Why don't you teach me? Me? But I don't know how to teach. I can teach you to teach me. But we need to do it fast, all right? Everything needs to be fast. Time is of the essence. Hurry up. There's more to do. So far, I started with the vowels. <laughs> but don't make me spell Eudoxia. <laughs> she makes me mad. <laughs> Kingdom. Oh, I don't have any space left. Wait, I'll start again. Animal. King. Yeah, but no way. I've already written animal. Then kingdom. There. And this one, this one. No, I made a mistake. Good morning. Good morning. 
okay, wrapped in orange? Aren't you ashamed to come to school with that dress and with those horrible shoes? You should go back to the orphanage. You don't belong in this prestigious school. Let's get started. All right, then. What are the most common birds in Antioquia? The turtle dove, the tropical kingbird, and the indigo bunting. Have you already read this book? Mm -mm. I haven't read, but I have seen them. Will this all come out on the test? I believe it's about flora and fauna. And will they ask about the blue crown motmot? Yes, that too. They put between two and four eggs between March and May? Between March and May. And will they also ask about a Maltese forests and mountains and all that? That's correct, and also how the Ferner produces. I'm guessing with their spores. See? I think you will do well in the exam, Laura. Oh, I hope so. Let's just see if those annoying girls stop bothering you. <laughs> oh, it's easy to learn about nature. Look, you just need to observe it. I see just one problem with that. What? You seem to know everything, but you still can't write, so how will you do in an exam? Well, what if I don't write it? Oral? Yes, if that's possible. You want to have an oral test? Yes, it's just that, you know, it just takes too long to write. It's still a problem. Yes. I can write more or less, but if you help me, everything will be easier. But Laura, I can't change the rules just because of you. You know that. Wait, just listen. Flora and fauna, which is our topic, is divided into four regions. Am I correct? First, we have the birds, which are the most important, and fauna. Then we no, find no, the no, cowbird. No. Wait a and minute. The turtle dove. Wait a, Wait a minute, moment. Please. And then there's a Laura, tropical kingbird and indigo bunting. What is this you're doing? I don't understand. I'm just showing you that I do know. Look, birds are divided into two groups. We have those that consume nectar and those that consume fruits. Yes, that's what that's I'm telling correct. you. And remember the blue crowned motmot? It puts between uh, yes. two and four eggs between March and May. Oh, I yes. See, I know the answer. I don't believe this. How do you know all these things? <laughs> because I know many things, teacher. I just know. That's incredible. <laughs> take care of that part, and I'll take care of the other. So what happened? How did it go with your exam? Very well. It went so well, thank God. I told you that it was an easy topic. Why should we study biology? Just look at That's nature. wonderful to hear. Laura! Laura, I brought you your mail. Here. For me? Yes. Oh, could you show me? Oh, God bless you. Uh, thank you. Come on, help me. Who is it from? It's, it's from your great uncle, Miss L. Uncle Miss L? Let's see now. Read to me. All right, read to me. No, no, no. Uh, D dear. dear, dearest, that's my correct. dear Laura. All right, correct. continue. I hope that that. Oh no. Oh no! I no, don't no, think no, I can no. do you this. You need to learn Please. how to read, Laura. Go on then. Patience. I hope that you're doing very well. Very well. Very. <sighs> Let me read it for you. Uh, that you're doing very well. Very soon I will be getting back from Peru and visit you. But I want you to know that if you need anything, please do not hesitate to ask you Doxa Maria for assistance. I always send her money for that. So you do not have to worry about these things. Wait, Laura. Have you thought about what your aunt Eudoxia is doing with all that money? According to this, you shouldn't have to be going through hard times. You shouldn't have to be working with me just like that, right? Haven't you thought about what she's doing with that money? What could she be doing with it? I find it very strange. Oh, I don't know. On behalf of the orphanage, Father, this is our monthly contribution to the church. Amen. Three for Miss Arango. Four for Miss Quesada. Miss Jimenez, 3.8. Miss Montes, 3.5. Miss Marino, 4.8. Miss Restrepo, 4.8. Miss Montoya, 5. How could Miss... that be possible? Laura didn't take that test yesterday. You mind your own business and I'll do the same, understood? Anyway, before I was interrupted, I was about to tell you we'll be sending our most noted students to represent our school. Alejandra Mariño is our representative for mathematics. For Spanish, it'll be Miss Clara Restrepo. And for the subject of biology, Miss Laura Montoya. Let me remind you, Laura, we need to brush up on your reading and writing skills. We only have 15 days. Yes, teacher. All right, ladies, let's take out our books and continue with our math class. Please turn to page number 20. 
I'm sorry, Madame Pilar, but this is an abomination. I don't think that girl is suited to represent her school. Have you seen the way she dresses? That dress she wears to school is horrible. She doesn't even have shoes. It will be such a disgrace for us. The name of her prestigious school is at stake here. Have you seen that dress? It's like, it's yellow and it looks like a rocky orange. If you're orange. so worried about that, Mr. Estrepo, we will lend her some shoes and a dress for that day. If Professor Eugenia says she's the best in biology, I will not argue with that. Laura Montoya is going. Is that clear? But Madame Pilar, Do me a favor that... and go back to your class. Just that stupid girl to go with us. I will not allow it to happen. Can you imagine a person who looks so crazy talking alone all day is permitted to go? People might think the school doesn't have high standards anymore. But what can you do? I can't do it alone, but if you help me, there's something we could do. Help you with what? Take off my Seriously? necklace. Seriously? Just help me. You're insane, Clara. With this necklace, we'll finally take that rotten orange out of her way. That's a promise. There's a thief! There's a thief in the school, teacher! My necklace has been stolen! We have to find that thief, teacher! There's what a thief! What is this all about? What happened? I've been robbed! All right, get in, ladies. Quickly, everyone get back to your rooms. Laura, you go in too. Come on. Yes, teacher. Will you hurry? I'm sure I brought it. I remember putting my necklace inside my notebook. This is where I last put it. Why weren't you wearing it to begin with? Because I wanted to bring it to the priest at the lunch hall so that he could bless it. This is very serious. Ladies, you will have to line up because we're going to check right, each one of you. All right, let's see. Make a line. While you're doing that, I'll be checking the desks. Yes, Madam Pilar. Haven't you seen it? This will take a lot of time, miss. Didn't you leave it at the yard? No, I didn't leave it. I had it. Is this what you were looking for? I knew it. You were the one who stole it. I am not a thief, and you lied about the whole thing. You placed it in my desk so they'd find it there. Luckily, I found it first. You wanted them to think that it was me, didn't you? But I hid it so well that they wouldn't find out where it was. While you were so anxious to see my reaction, I anticipated seeing yours. Tell me, why do you hate me? Do you even have to ask why I did it? You don't belong here. You belong at the orphanage. I want you to know something, Clara. I don't know how to read or write, but I am no imbecile. You stupid, rotten orange! Wait! Thank <laughs> you. 
We are gathered here today to resolve this matter once and for all. This girl stole something from me, no, madam. No, I didn't rob anyone. I didn't do it, madam. She wanted to blame me for something I never did. But you know what? She went after me like a tiger. Like a yes, tiger. she did. You stole from me, and now you're calling me a liar. Don't no, say Mama. anything, Clara. Your father's already here. Don't say anything. I'm sorry it took me a while to get here, Madame Pilar, but it Isael, happens. Isael, how have you been? Yudosha, what are you doing here? Were you invited? But of course. I have to be here. We are family. Look, this is your niece Laura, Fabiola's daughter. This man here is paying for your studies and your stay at the orphanage. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you for coming. Mother has been telling me about you. If you'll excuse me. No, that can't be. Oh, that's it's right. True, Marwa. I know you from before. W was it you? You were at my grandmother's funeral, weren't you? Yes, that was me. May your grandmother rest in peace. She was my sister. I'm sorry, Misael. I do not understand any of this at all. What does that mean? Madam, this means that... Clara is my aunt, and I'm her niece. always the same. I'm packing again. It seems my life is about moving and never staying. But Laura, think about it. You will do well living at your great uncle's. Imagine where you will live. You'll stay in a house with long halls and a garden full of beautiful plants. I know it's a nice place, but I don't want to go because I think I'm one of you. No, you're wrong, Miss Laura. You're not one of us. You're a very special girl. And I will miss you a lot. And I'll miss you, you too. Promise me that you will write to me? Of course I'm going to write to you. You taught me how to write. I'll miss you so much. You are the only friend I have in the entire world. Do you know that? Of course I know that. Thank you for everything. Oh, I hate saying goodbyes. I wish I could just stay no, here. No, Miss Laura, you're a very strong woman. I'm not strong. I'm an errant person. At least an errant person gets to know the world, right? What could you do being locked down here? Listen, promise me something. What? Promise me you'll take care of yourself and that you won't hurt yourself. You don't need penance, Laura. Of all the people, you're the last one who needs it. What sins you could you be carrying? it's insignificant to keep on fighting the current when it's God who guides rivers? Laura, have you finished packing up? Remember, your uncle is fetching you very early. Yes, you mother. must get ready. I've been thinking, can't I just stay here? I feel like I'm more of an orphan than a girl who deserves to have a family. Please, let me just stay here. Why would you say that? Why would you say such things? Because it's my life. Our lives are not our own. We do not control our destiny. Come on, Laura. Stop fighting against the current. Go and be happy. All right? Will you help me All with right, this? I'll help you. We're here. Welcome to your new house, Laura. Let me. No, there's no need for that. But do let me help you with your luggage, at least. No, you don't have to. I can do it on my own. You're too kind. You may go, Romano. Hello. But are you sure, Laura? I can help no, you with your luggage. No, great uncle. I can do this by myself. Thank you. As you wish. I'll wait for you inside. Maruha! Maruha Fabiola's daughter is here. Will you be careful, Betty Nice? You're pulling my hair. I, am I already not. told I you. Just... You're pulling my hair. Why but are you I'm doing, doing what it again? You told me. This no, no, you're you doing it all me. wrong. Why are you so ignorant? Do you doing. want me to call my mother and punish There's you? There's no need for you to do that, Miss Clara. You'll see once I'm done no, with I your don't hair. Need to see, you're doing but it it's... all wrong, Betty. What's going on, Clara? The visitor is here. No, Marwa. She's not a visitor. She's going to live with us. Oh, I see. Laura, what are you doing there? Why don't you come in? Let me introduce Laura to you. You already know my daughter, Clara. I hope you don't fight again. And from now on, the two of you will behave as if you were sisters. Yes, sir. 
Mary Lee's Martha, I want you to do me a favor. Put an extra bed here because Laura is going to sleep in this room. Maruha, please do a favor and help change her clothes to something more appropriate. Just like what Clara is No, wearing. great uncle, there's no need for that. Look, I have everything I need here. No, it is necessary, Lara. Dress her as God commands, Maruha. We will have clothes made for you right away. Laura, welcome to your new home. We're going to treat you as if you were our daughter. With your permission? Berenice, Martha, come with me. Bless this food right before us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What are you doing, Manuel Jose? Don't you see there's a vacant seat? But who are we waiting for? Speak of the devil. What did you say, Clara? Do me a favor and respect. Well, Lara, you look beautiful in that dress. I didn't recognize you. Do you see how well she looks, Marua? Take a seat, child. Your place is over there. Everyone, Lara is going to live with us in this house, or at least until she finishes her studies. She is the daughter of my only niece, Fabiola, who is the daughter of my sister, Isabel. I hope you all behave, especially you, Clara. By the way, Lara, they are the rest of your cousins. Welcome to our house. Berenice, you may now serve us. my soul, let me start by thanking you for the generosity my great uncle Misael has given me. He's been so nice. I'd also like to pray for my mother, for her good health and the safety of my brother and my sister, especially Clarissa. I ask you to take care of my friend Ana Lucia as well. I'm warning you, Laura. My father can say anything he wants to because this is his house and we obey what he tells us to do. But in this bedroom, it is I who has the upper hand because this is mine. If you do not want any trouble with me, you'll do everything I say. Be careful what you say in school, including the fact that we're related. Don't worry. The last thing I want is for anyone to know that I have anything to do with you. I'm being serious. If you don't want me to steal all the letters your mother sends, you'll listen to me. Is that understood? Yes, I understand. Berenice, I'm done. <sighs> did you see what the girl did? She made the bed. Take a look. All right, we have to hurry. Help me carry this. We need to do the laundry. We have a lot to do. All Isn't right, it a Berenice. miracle? I've never seen this before. It's either she stole it or she begged for someone to give it to her. How could the starving girl have bought a new uniform? Look at her earrings, Clara. They're just like yours. Come on in, Mother. Have a seat and feel free to observe. All right, ladies, we'll go through yesterday's dictation. The woman in the family must always provide support for her children and husband. She must be at his service. 
She must always obey him because he knows what's best for the family. My beloved mother and siblings, as you know, I do not live at my aunt's orphanage anymore. Great uncle Miss L has taken me to live under the same roof. He's very kind, but I'm no fool. The rest of the family seems uncomfortable with my presence. Good evening. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I was just looking for a place where I could wash these sheets. What are you doing, miss? You're not supposed to be I here. I just want to wash these, but I didn't know where to do it. Marta, get them from miss. No, Marta. You don't need to lift a single finger. That's the reason why we're You're here. You're too kind, Berenice, but I want to help. I'm used to doing this in my old place. You do not understand, miss. This is no place for a lady like you. We will be what in trouble if you stay here. What do you mean this is no here? place for me? <gasps> for heaven's sake, will you please listen to what I'm saying? You'll get You're us in trouble. You're not that kind of lady. What I mean is I'm not like Clara over there. I'm a simple lady, louder. Montoya, don't you understand? Tell me where I can wash these. I want to help. Besides, I don't want to be with that family, okay? Please do us a favor and leave. Please don't cause us any more But problems. I don't see what the Go problem is. No, Martha, don't, don't touch these. To I told us. you I was going to wash these, okay? Laura, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be mingling with the servants. All right? You shouldn't be engaging in conversations with them. I'm sorry, Maruja. I know that you came from the province, but you're here I'm now. I'm sorry, madam, it's As just... As for that. you, Berenice, it's improper for you to be rubbing elbows with the members of the house. <gasps> it's for your own good. Understand? Hmm? You'll only have bread and water this week. As punishment. <laughs> madam Maruja, this is all my fault, not hers. You can take away my food if you want to, for a week or for all of time, but don't take it away from her. Punish me! No, no. No, don't you worry, my dear. I have something planned for you. <laughs> Let's discuss this elsewhere. <laughs> Get inside. This will be very uncomfortable for you. And I'd watch what I'd tell Miss L if I were you. Madam Maruja, this is nothing compared to what I've been through. Here, take this. Be careful of the scorpions. Good night. I haven't heard from you in a long time, Mother. I hope you aren't going through any hard times. As for me, feelings that I don't belong in this world grow stronger by the day. It's probably because I don't understand human beings and that I fit nowhere. Do you think I would ever find my place on Earth? I think I'll ask my great uncle Misael when he gets back from his trip. If I could be allowed to go back to the orphanage, please send my regards to everyone. Your daughter and sister, Laura. I'm worried. She doesn't seem to it's fit in It's because she complains there. about everything. How could you prefer to live in an orphanage over living with a rich uncle? Maybe because money isn't everything. But of course it is. That's what poor people say so they can feel well about being poor. Do you even hear what you're saying? That's why I'll ask Grandfather to introduce me what? to all the rich people here so I can get married and be rich. Mm. And the things you say. <laughs> Clarissa, come here no. and help me. I come will on. not, Mother. Oh, you silly girl. Mm. Why haven't you finished cleaning up the goblets? No, the silverware needs cleaning too. Berenice, wake up my daughters. Come on. Martha, don't forget to take care of the flowers. Look, this goblet's filthy. Has anyone seen Laura? Where's Laura? Can anyone look for her? She needs to wash and iron the shirts of the boys. Wait, where are my daughters? I don't see them. I need everyone's help with the chores. It's Laura. Your mother told me to bring you your shirt, but I can leave it outside of you. Come in.
Excuse me. That's very sweet of you, Laura. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Would you help me get dressed? I apologize. I have other things to do. Why don't I help you? Would you please stop this? Please. You're making me uncomfortable. Stop please. pretending to be innocent. Get off of me! Conscious for two days, and the doctor says it's too soon to know what injuries such concussion may have on him. I was only trying to defend myself. Manuel Jose started touching me and kissing me, and since I got to that house, he kept stalking me and harassing me all of the time. You should have said something, Laura. And what for? Would anyone have taken my word over a man's? Never! Your granddaughter attacked him with no provocation at all. She went to his room to deliver some clothes and then grabbed a vase and savagely hit him for no reason. You must take care of her, because I can't do it anymore. I'm very tired. I don't know what's going on inside her head. She talks to herself. She has no friends. She eats with the servants and is a man-hater. Take care of her. Father. No, Father. Grandpa. No, Grandpa. Father. Please. Please. <laughs> it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Laura, stop crying. We've shed less tears for more serious tragedies. But it's just not fair. Fair or unfair, that's what the Lord has for us at this moment, and that's more than enough. But I don't think he likes that they're blaming me for something that's not Maybe true. Maybe he doesn't like it, but suffering brings strength. Yes, Mother, I guess it's true. But I don't understand, Grandfather. Why does he act like that with me if it wasn't my fault? Your grandfather is an old man. He's still No, Mother, I can't accept that. If this happened with Clarissa, it would be different. But then again, there's no one who loves me enough to defend me. What do you want from me? You know what, Mother? Nothing. Nothing. I already know. The only one who gives justice in this world. is more than enough. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 